Got your new friend there, Ray. Okay. We've got a a baby calf here that the, the neighbor just gave us. Uh, he had a cow that had twins yesterday. And uh, it was a really old cow. And she's not going to be able to give enough milk for both of them. And uh, so he said we could have this one if we wanted to raise it on the bottom. It's a little heifer, born twin to a bull, which means it's called a free martin. And 99% of all free martins never breed. So we'll treat her like a steer born yesterday. So she has had colostrum. The mother did make enough of a, an udder to uh, provide them colostrum. Colostrum is the first milk after they have a calf that's full of uh, antibodies and nutrients. Let me get it out of the mud here before she gets stuck. I tried to make her a, a little bed out of straw here. So, be a clean place for her. Louie, her dog, doesn't know what to think of her. But as you can see, her mother has got her licked off pretty good. We'll always do a little brushing on her to kind of simulate uh, what her mother would do licking on her. Seems like a pretty healthy little calf. She won't weigh, I don't know, 30 pounds, 40 pounds. She's a tiny little thing, being a heifer and a twin both. But we'll, uh, we'll go fix a bottle and feed her some milk replacer. Again, she's had colostrum, so we should be good there. We're gonna fix the first bottle for our new little baby calf that we just brought into the barn down here. And I may do it a little bit differently than and some of you have been taught to do it. A lot of people will feed uh, this two quart bottle twice a day, and we'll get to that point a couple of weeks, three weeks down the road. But I would rather feed them a little bit much more often. Uh, we're gonna start with two cups of warm water, just about the same temperature you want the cow's milk to be, which is around 100 degrees. Two cups, that's all we're gonna do. That sounds like such a little amount, but most of the problems you run into with baby calves on the bottle is scours, and that's usually from being overfed. I would rather err on the side of underfeeding them and overfeeding. So we've got two cups of warm water. We're going to use milk replacer and we're going to measure that out to two and a half ounces. You may think that's a little too precise but again we're trying not to overfeed them and induce scours. Now the funnel I use to put it in here is simply the top I've cut off of an old milk jug. Makes it pretty handy and I really like how much it costs to treat. So put the milk replacer in there. I'm going to stir it up with a little utensil I stole from my wife's drawer here. I think it's a, a chopstick, hot, hot lick chopstick or something like that. That's it. Anything to stir it up. That milk replacer stirs it pretty easy. I'm going to put the nipple on. And what a if you've never raised baby calves before, the nipple has a vent hole in it, and you always want to have that up when you feed the calf. And again, that doesn't look like much, but we're going to feed this calf this much about four times a day here for three or four days. And we'll gradually work it up to three times a day with maybe a third of the bottle. And then now, keep in mind, this is a really small calf we got to. It's a, it's a heifer twin, so it won't weigh 40 pounds. So if you've got a regular size calf, you might up just a little bit. But again, keep the amount down and feed it more often for the first four or five days. Just remember, we're feeding them a small amount more often through the day to cut down on that chance of them getting scours. Because a baby calf, once they get scours, they could be gone within 10, 12 hours. So you do everything you can to keep them from getting in that situation. I heard him bawling for me. So he's ready to eat, hopefully.
Come on in, let's try to get him to suck. This will be the first time he's sucked the bottle, so it may be a little bit of a chore to get him to suck. Come here, little girl. All right. Sometimes they're really difficult to get started sucking because they've only had their mommy's teeth before. But this little girl starts sucking like she's been on the bottle for a week. So we're feeding her around noon. We'll feed her again around four this afternoon and then probably about eight or nine tonight. And then we'll, tomorrow we'll feed her four times as well. But she's taking the bottle really good. And again, she was just born yesterday. And of course, Louie wants to get what slips out of her mouth here. He'll end up being best friends with her over the next few weeks, probably. Okay, that's it. Good job, she took every bit. We need to brush her a little bit or rub on her. Not because we want to keep her looking pretty and clean, but because if she were still on her mother, her mother would be licking her at every feeding. So this kind of simulates the mother's licking thing you could do. Nope, nope, nope. To make her get more of a natural environment, the better. A corgi nipping in her nose is not a natural environment. This is day eight for the little baby calf that we started on the bottle last week. Remember that we started feeding it four times a day. Uh, two cups per feeding. On day four, we increase that to three cups per feeding, but cut it down to three feedings per day. And then yesterday, we started on four cups per feeding twice a day. As you can see, the calf is doing great, really healthy, really responded good. Uh, if We're still calling her the little black heifer. If you would like to suggest a name, you can do so in comments, comments below, and we will uh, let you know next week uh, what name we decided on but the calf as you can see is really doing good <laughs>